what's up beautiful babes today i'm going to be doing a install using the sensational butter lace human hair blend wig in bohemian curl the length is 28 inch and the color is 1b right off the pack i love this hair it was so beautiful it had such a beautiful curl and it was only 48 dollars you cannot beat that starting off tinting the lace with even lace tint and then I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses foundation and just applying that on the lace. Hot combing. Then I continue to spray the perimeter of my head with the Even Lace Adhesive Spray. You wanna make sure that's all tacky and once it's all tacky, you wanna go ahead and apply the lace. Off camera, I did make sure that everything was fitting correctly because you want the lace to fit ear to ear so you want to measure and make sure that you're going to have the right amount of space to um, tack everything down so I'm just going to be trimming off the sides where obviously the lace is going over my ear so that I can fit properly Now another thing, you may have to clip some hair back and you see the amount that I cut off. You don't have to cut off a large amount to make it fit on your head. Usually I snip off maybe a inch, if that maybe a half an inch of the lace from off of both sides and it usually fits my head perfectly. Now I know it's going to be depending upon head shape and everything, head size. But typically, you don't have to cut off that much from the ear tab if you're applying your lace on a frontal. If you're doing a closure, it'll be a different story. You won't have to worry about ear tabs, but it's going to be cut a totally different way. Just saying that for those who are beginners and have no, you know what I'm saying, knowledge on hair, lace, or wigs. So now, you're going to go ahead and melt the lace into your scalp by applying the same spray all around the perimeter areas and then you're going to apply your elastic band on there and make sure everything is super tight and snug. So while your lace is melting down, you're going to go ahead and either, if it was straight hair, you would be curling um, or straightening the hair. In this case, since we have curly hair, we're just going to go ahead and define those curls with some gel. I wanted to do this because I wanted a more wet look. I wanted the curls to look more defined. I wanted it to look more of like a water wave, beachy type texture and get rid of some of that frizziness and the poofiness that I was getting from the hair being you know hot combed and manipulated and touched you know synthetic hair from manipulating and touching it it will start to get poofy so I thought if I use gel it would be a great idea because it would make everything kind of like look more laid down and less poofy and dramatic because I was not going for a big hair look Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm just taking um, amounts of the hair and just saturating it with the gel. It is making it super defined. It looks like deep wave hair for sure, like, or like vacation water wave hair, like I said before. Um, yeah, it's really defining. The only thing is the ends. I feel like they do get a little drier. So, yes. Now that we defined our curls, we're going to go ahead and start getting into the customization and getting those baby hairs to look as natural as we can with a synthetic wig, keep in mind. So, 
I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. Everything's gonna come together. I'm not trying to wear the style ear to ear just because I don't plan on having this wig on that long and I don't really want to wear a frontal style and I feel like you're not able to pluck the synthetic wig enough to wear it as a frontal. I feel like frontals you should be able to like, if you're going to pick it up, put it in a bun, you should not be able to see nothing but scalp, if that makes sense. Like I couldn't pluck it enough because it wasn't enough side range for me to pluck it to get it to where I wanted to wear it as a frontal. So I wasn't about to just walk around like that. Um, so I wore it as a closure. So as you see, I'm just going ahead and cutting those baby hairs, curling them, and I'm going to be styling this as if I was wearing a frontal and not a closure wig. Yes, so I'm just combing those baby hairs into place. Um, the more you spray the spray on, it'll get kind of hard and tacky and the baby hairs will mold into the way that you want them to go. So you have to just keep playing around with it. Also, another thing, I'm fully aware that my lace is not completely matching my skin tone. Um, since it's a synthetic wig, it's gonna be a little harder to get that makeup into the actual lace so that it will match. So once I'm done styling my baby hairs, I'm gonna go back through and I'm going to apply more makeup onto my lace and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the lace isn't seen. Cause like I said before, I'm going to be wearing my hair in the middle part down so it looks like a closure. So we don't have to worry about the fact that my sides look like that. For those that are the lace police just saying also off camera i did use a rat tail comb and black spray to make my part more straight and defined and i did pluck the part i also did off camera pluck the actual baby hairs a little more than how they naturally come just fyi i don't want people to think oh it just automatically comes like that no you have to do a little bit of manipulation to get it to be how you want I'm just showing you guys the install process and the final results and my overall experience with this hair. Now you're going to spray extra spray right on the lace so that you can get that melted effect to blend more seamlessly into your skin. So I'm going to spray the spray on once again. Yes, wigs are a little bit of work guys. So you got to do what you got to do to get it right. So. Spray that on again, get that band on again after you do your baby hairs, at least that's what I do, and you will have the results that you want. I don't know if I said this before, but when you have your band on, you're going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes each time in between. Um, I just want to clarify that because I don't know if some people might think that, you know, just put the band on and then you just take it right off. No, you have to leave it on and you have to make sure that everything is pressed right into the skin. Now you're seeing me just hot comb everything, do the final touches on the hair, if anything's sticking up, just hot comb that down. So while you're doing the process, you might want to make sure you have your hot comb plugged in the whole entire time because you want to get it as flat as possible so that your install can look as realistic as possible.
Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and how I installed my hair. I really, really like this hair. I've been wearing it now after doing this voiceover for about, I'll say a week and a half, two weeks. And it's still holding up good, but you know me, I like to switch up my hair. Thank you for watching though, guys.